Bradycardia is a term used to describe a very slow heart rate. Now, some patients who have what is known as bradycardia do not necessarily experience symptoms. However, some patients feel very bad when their heart rate is too slow. The symptoms of bradycardia include shortness of breath, weakness, dizziness, fatigue, and can even lead to passing out. Most patients actually notice their symptoms associated with exertion or getting up to do something because their body demands more blood flow at that point. If their heart rate does not increase to increase their blood flow, they're going to notice their symptoms at that time. One of the most common causes of bradycardia is in fact medication. Some of medications, including blood pressure medications, cause a slowing of the heart rate, which can lead to symptoms associated with bradycardia. Additionally, electrical problems can cause bradycardia, either electrical problems at the top part of the heart or in the wiring system of the heart that leads electricity from the top to the bottom. If one thinks about the top part of the heart as a band leader, it is the main pacemaker or the timekeeper of the heart. If that slows down too much, the band also slows down, which leads to a slow heart rate and therefore the symptoms that are associated with bradycardia. Bradycardia can occur at any age, but is more commonly seen in elderly people. Bradycardia does have a genetic component and has been seen to run in families. However, other things can cause bradycardia, such as thickening of the heart valves associated with calcium that can build up in the walls of the heart. That calcium affects the electrical wiring in the heart, which slows the electrical conduction through the heart, leading to bradycardia. One of the first signs of bradycardia is in fact symptoms that people complain of. Usually the symptoms associated with just fatigue and weakness that are not explained by anything else may be a sign that someone has bradycardia. At that point, electrical testing is usually performed including an EKG or a halter monitor or an event monitor, which are all tests that look at the heart rate as well as the heart rhythm over periods of time. These tests can be instant, such as an EKG, or can last anywhere from 24 hours to three to four weeks. However, some people get intermittent bradycardia. In other words, it only happens every once in a while, and we need tests that last longer, such as something known as an implantable loop recorder. Now, a loop recorder is a very small device that is implanted under the skin that can then monitor the heart rate and the rhythm for as long as three years for us to try to diagnose bradycardia. Well, since medication is one of the most common causes of bradycardia, the first thing we do is to try to stop whatever medicines could be causing the slow heart rate. However, once we take those medicines away, and if your heart rate remains very slow, we may need to consider implanting a pacemaker. Well, the most important thing to consider is how bradycardia affects you. Some patients only feel symptoms such as weakness or dizziness, at which time they just need to sit down or steady themselves to avoid injury. However, if you suffer from episodes of passing out, you should avoid situations such as driving or activities in your job that could be harmful to you or to others. While most primary care physicians can stop medications that are causing patients to have bradycardia, however, if this does not take care of the problem, patients may need to seek the assistance from a cardiologist who can implant a pacemaker to treat their bradycardia.